Hey everybody, so today I decided to make some brownies and I thought I would share the recipe with you. So let's get started making some brownies. First thing I'm gonna do is preheat the oven and set it to 350. And with brownies, I usually don't use the mixer just cause I find it over mixes the brownie batter and I'm able to get it more well incorporated quicker if I just use regular whisk and bowl. Okay, first step is going to be doing half a cup of oil, just vegetable oil, and a cup of sugar. And we're just gonna mix that until it's well incorporated together. And now that that's all mixed up, we're gonna add two eggs, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And we're just gonna mix that up and the wet ingredients are gonna be set aside and we're gonna move on to the dry ingredients. Now, the dry ingredients are gonna be in this bowl and it's gonna be half a cup of flour, a third a cup of cocoa powder, and a teaspoon of salt and a fourth a teaspoon of baking powder. Now I'm just whisking this up and the dry ingredients will go in the bowl with the wet ingredients and I'm going to switch to a spatula for that. Okay, so I've just mixed the brownie batter just in a folding motion like this and scraping the sides and making sure because all the dry ingredients like to hide at the bottom. You want to make sure that you really get get underneath and make sure that all of that is well mixed into the batter. And you want to only mix until everything is incorporated. A few lumps are okay, but you don't want to mix it too much because that is what makes really dense and chewy brownies. Okay, I've just sprayed the pan that I'm gonna use with nonstick cooking spray, and I do it pretty well and on the sides just because brownies tend to stick quite a bit. So I'll be back once I put the brownie batter in the pan. Okay, so I put the brownie batter in the pan and I actually found some raspberry jam. So I'm going to swirl some raspberry jam into the brownie. Okay, when I incorporate anything into brownies, like any sort of jam or peanut butter, I'll put little dollops around the brownies. And I will take a toothpick or a knife, a knife works too, and just cut through the brownies like in little motions like this. And do it both ways so that it incorporates anywhere. And this is how you do marbling and cake too. But this is just the way that I add the jam and anything in the brownie and as you can see the little the little specks of the raspberry jam are now all in the brownie okay now the brownies are going to go in to a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes so i will come back when the brownies are done okay it's been 20 minutes and i am going to use a toothpick and poke right in the center and if it comes out clean uh, we will be good, but if it doesn't, we will put them in for a little bit longer. So let's do that. Okay, so it still needs a few more minutes. I think I'm going to do five more minutes and we'll come back to them. Okay, and five minutes later, the toothpick did come out clean. And there you go. You have some simple homemade brownies. Well, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in another video. Bye.